Bam, baby. Look at that. So, oh. <laughs> Is it, am I weird by doing that? No. Okay, I'm just a freak. Yeah, true. I, yeah. I, I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> I have absolute bullshit in this book. Uh, All right. Okay, let's get it. Let's go, baby. Woo! guys welcome to today's video in today's video yes we're gonna be doing a full day of eating and training okay i absolutely love these videos because we're gonna build some muscle and we're gonna eat some awesome fucking food you guys ready okay put on your seat belts buckle up because it's gonna be a fantastic day oh yeah and also if you don't know who i am hello i'm brett mossing this is my channel hopefully you enjoy the video and if you do please hit the subscribe button like 50 percent of you or something who watch my videos aren't even subscribed to the channel so please do me a favor and hit that button because you won't regret it because good vibes are always flowing in my videos okay good vibes only but with all that being said why don't we just get this video started shall we let's get it. all right beautiful people of the world we are currently on our fasted walk I still do intermittent fasting every single day. I kind of follow like the 16-8 rule. So flexibility with my diet is huge, especially if you want to stick to your diet over the long term. So anyways, fast cardio going down right now. Still doing cardio around five to six times a week. 30, 40 minutes every single day. Calories right now are still the same around 2,400 split up between four and five meals. Again, I'm not too strict with it. I want to at least hit four protein servings every single day. But yeah, anyways, I'm going to finish up this walk. Then uh, we're going to get in uh, meal number one. So it is time for meal number one, and I got a little bit of inspiration from Anthony Mantello for this one. He has a lot of cream of rice for his breakfast and shit, so I think I'm gonna make some cream of rice right now. So I'm gonna do, sorry, cream of wheat, that's all we have. I totally thought this was cream of rice, my bad. Cream of wheat or cream of rice is basically like oats, it's quick digesting, and it gives you that kind of like cereal kind of flavor and everything, so yeah, we're probably gonna do 80 grams of this. So grab a bowl. I don't know why I always use the same bowl for literally all my meals. Like I'll use this freaking orange or yellow type bowl. I, I snapped it a while ago too. So it's kind of, it, it's been through it. But you know what? That means it's sticking with me till the day I die. Okay. So throw this on the scale. Always weigh out your oats or cream of wheat or stuff. Cause this stuff, if you can eyeball this shit, you're, you're alpha. But like, I don't know how someone would eyeball 80 grams of this. So I'm probably gonna do, yeah, probably 70 ish grams. Oh, she comes out fast. 70 on the dot. All right. So now I'll just put in as much water. This part doesn't really matter. If you stick to the same bowl, you kind of like know how much water to put in it every time. This is kind of around the amount that I would do, but if it's like too much, you can just keep heating it up or warming it up in the microwave to like make sure the consistency is kind of how you want. So I'm gonna throw this in for two minutes. A few moments later. I am. Okay. So that's two minutes done. That's kind of how it should look. It'll look like super, it looks like mush. Okay, it looks like shit. But as soon as you take it out, again, if you need to put in more water, put in more water, then throw it back in there. Woo, that's hot. Okay, then I'm gonna grab um, protein. I'm using uh, the Whey Iso, chocolate smooth, chocolate, literally anything chocolate for me is just it's so good. Then we need some fats in this meal. So I'm gonna use some crunchy peanut butter. And I'm also going to throw in probably a full banana, which is around like 106 grams ish so i'm gonna mash this up put in probably one tablespoon of peanut butter one scoop of protein for this whole entire meal right here you're looking at 576 calories 36 grams of protein 86 grams of carbs and nine grams of fat so with all that being said this is going to be meal number one i guess i should give you guys a little, little taster to make sure it's legit Need a little bit of everything in there oh yeah it's basically protein oats but protein cream of wheat so yeah anyways i'm gonna devour this meal then i'll see you guys in a bit All right, guys, so uh, what's going on? We're doing a pre-workout taste test. And obviously, we got special guests here, Daniel Lewis. Hello, everybody. All right, he's the guy behind the camera, literally like nine times out of 10. We are gonna do a taste test here, and then we're gonna rate them basically out of 10. I already know which kind of one I think is gonna be the best, and all of them are still 150 uh, milligrams. And no, we didn't do a full scoop in each of them. Okay, we'd be bouncing off the fucking walls if we did that, okay? So, um, yeah, which one do you wanna start with? Left, right. so this one, okay. I don't know which one it is, no. 
Well, I guess Why do we just- you'll, you'll know though. It's not like it's like a black coffee, black no. coffee, black yeah, coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, cheers. Right, yeah. I, I, mean, <laughs> I don't know why. So. See, it's like way better when you have it in water. That one's so good. Like besides dry scooping, dry scooping just kind of yeah. hits your dome kind of. Oh yeah. Second one, cheers. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not doing it next time. You can tell which one that one is, eh? <laughs> Whoa, whoa! It's, it's your so, throat. It's so sour. You can just smell it. All right, last one. I love how we tap. It's just a ritual, man. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's good. That's the best one. That's so good. That's the best one. I love for peeps. sure. It just kind of like sits on your tongue, kind of. Mm -hmm. All right. First one is the pre-workout. Uh, where's the flavor? Watermelon. What do you give it? That was the first one we had. I'll give this one an eight. An eight? That's a high number, bro. Or we're going like- We're going strategic, okay, bro. Okay, pizza reviews. Dude. All right. Yeah, pizza reviews. One step, everyone knows rules. Cause you gotta base it all on the other ones too. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I'll go six, eight. Six and a half. Okay. Probably. I would say that was the worst one. Okay. I would say. Cause like, even though the second one is like strong, it's like the best, like- It tastes good. It's good. I, I, you know, I, it's I, like a I, vanilla. I, I completely agree. Okay. All right. Second one, we got black cherry vanilla. What do you give it? See, I like this one because it like wakes you up. Yeah. Kind of tastes like that one neutral. No, the, the uh, white claw. Black the, cherry white claw. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Basically yeah, yeah. like this. I'm going to give this guy a 7.4. Oh, strategic. 7.4, okay. I'd say this one's actually pretty good. So 7.9. Seven, seven, okay. 7.9. Seven, okay. <laughs> All right. Last but not least, the, the, the newest one. We got the pre-workout thermo. Okay. I don't know what the thermo means. But it's it's good, okay. Peach mango. Would you give this one? I like this one a lot. I think that's the best. I think it is the best, it's the best too. For sure. I give it like an eight point three. Eight point three. Eight point three. That's very strong, actually. That's good. I highly suggest. I would put it at an eight. Yeah, it was an eight. Yeah. yeah, cause like a nine is like a I don't even know. Like that's 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 pretty good, even on any churn. It's hard to give anything a perfect score. Yeah. Anyways, pre-workout taste test. That was it. Again, I don't know what the thermo means, but I'm guessing it has some like super sane effect or some shit. So we're gonna go absolutely ballistic during this workout. Yeah. Uh, hundred percent. All right. Okay, let's get it. Let's go. Shoulders, arms, again, obviously in my basement. We're starting off with Arnold press, doing four sets of eight to 10 reps. And then right after this, we're gonna do a drop set. So that was my first set. Now I'm gonna do a drop set and then probably get into some bicep, tricep work. When I'm in my basement, I like to like, or we like to just continually go because the motivation is obviously lower, but you know what? We still gotta get this work done and we still have to work out and get absolutely massive. That's what we're trying to do. Um, yeah, basically four sets of like eight to 12 reps on everything today, more hypertrophy kind of work. I'm losing my breath. I'm gonna do my drop set now and get on with a few reps of the workout. What's up guys? So, 
Workout was absolutely phenomenal, but now uh, I have to refuel my muscles because I'm very hungry right now. As soon as like midway through all my workouts, I'm already thinking about what I'm gonna be making. Like it's just, is it, am I weird by doing that? No, okay, I'm just a freak and my appetite has always been insane. So for this meal, all I'm gonna make is basically like a big burrito bowl. So I'm gonna use some chicken. We don't have like that much. I always meal prep my chicken ahead of time. You guys know that. So we probably have around like 100, maybe 120 grams, but we also made some pork tenderloin yesterday. So I'm gonna use some pork as well. So I'm gonna have probably combined six ounces of that obviously we're gonna have some um, vegetables I'm not gonna track the lettuce just because it's very voluminous and it comes from the ground and chopped carrots I'm also going to use for my carbs one cup of rice which is around like 150 grams then also I'm going to have half an avocado and that is going to be my post-workout meal this thing is like the hardest thing to take off there you go put this in for a minute this take out the rice that only takes a minute it's minute rice right throw in the chicken and pork this will only lasts like a minute maybe a minute 20 throw it in there big ass bowl chicken all right guys so uh we got our fixings here we got the big ass bowl okay i also threw some snap peas in there too i haven't had that many greens today so it's gonna be my biggest micronutrient hit probably of the day i'm basically like a full-time chipotle worker but at home so i've kind of perfected this take your rice okay right into the bread basket mix that shit up minute rice is actually sick man because if you're ever on the go or some shit you can just you know pop in the microwave you're good to go then just take your meat of choice i got chicken and pork like i mentioned you can also use ground beef steak or you can you can even put like fish in here like some raw tuna or some shit make it like a poke bowl i don't know throw it right on there okay right into the bucket then you're gonna take your avocado always put on the avocado last cake okay? because then you get a little bit of avocado with every single bite if you put it at the very bottom it's just gonna get mush you don't want to do that throw that in there for fixings aka condiments i got mustard and some hot sauce just because it is the lowest calorie version if you want to make this actually very good put in some low calorie or low sugar barbecue sauce i don't have any i didn't want to go get any so mustard and hot sauce this is what i'm going to use louisiana or red hot is my favorite just dump that in there so it looks like this anyways guys calories and the macros are on the screen right now anyways i'm going to devour this meal cheers that's good, man. That's really good. So my next meal is as follows. We have around like 210 grams of sirloin steak. We have like 175 grams of just regular white potatoes. Again, just with salt and pepper, have some garlic on both the potatoes and the steak. Then we have some green beans around like 150 grams. Um, usually we just throw it on the barbecue like the steak, and then just cook it up that way. Tyrion is finally getting nice out in Canada too. It's good to like barbecue outside and shit. So we just threw these on the barbecue. Medium rare, of course, if you like your steak, like super rare or like with no blood in it, you're a freak, okay? You ruin the steak, but medium rare is the go. So yeah, anyways, I'm eating it outside because it's like plus 15 today, which is totally ideal. Like it's just the last couple days have been so beautiful. And then probably tomorrow it's probably gonna snow or some shit. Like that's Canada. That's literally what happens on a daily basis. So anyways, with all that being said, I'm gonna crush this meal right now. I'm gonna throw up the calories and the macros on the screen. The fats are probably gonna be higher for this meal because in sirloin steak, there's gonna be like more fats, which I expected, which is why I kind of like didn't have that many fats earlier on in the day because this is like very high in fat but it's also very high in protein and obviously some good carbs with the potatoes and the potatoes fill me up so much like if you guys need to be full after meals or especially if you're trying to cut and you want to feel satiated after a meal have some potatoes potatoes will fill you up like no other food okay the potassium in it it's just it's, it's crazy okay then obviously you need some greens so green beans of course is one of the best beans out there so i'm gonna crush this meal out here enjoy this beautiful weather and i'll see you guys in the next meal what do i want what do i want uh greek yogurt for so the last meal of the day we're gonna make something a little bit different we're gonna make some frozen greek yogurt but instead of just leaving it in this bowl i'm gonna put it onto this um what is this called i'm gonna put it onto this baking pan sheet thing okay i've never not really a baker i'm not this is not my forte but we're gonna put 
basically my whole mixture that I make here onto this baking pan and then we're gonna throw it into the refrigerator and it's gonna freeze up and we're gonna make Greek yogurt like frozen bars. Okay, they're gonna be just absolutely mint. First of all, you're gonna need some Greek yogurt. Grab yourself a spoon and I'm gonna weigh out 300 grams. Then we're gonna need some protein, of course. You can use any protein you want, but I use casein protein for the end of my night just cause for one, it's slower digesting. So it's actually better when you're sleeping cause it digests slower. So then you're like having some protein while you're sleeping or some shit. I don't know how it completely works, but it also makes this mixture super thick. So that's kind of what you want. Right into there. It should be really thick, right? It'll be like super, super thick. But that's okay because as soon as you like freeze it, it'll freeze perfectly. Now, if you use regular protein, it won't be this thick. So if you don't use casein protein, you'll have to freeze it for probably, I'd say two hours longer. So just take note of that if you're using like a regular way or like an isolate or some shit. Okay, as soon as you have the mixture, it should be like super thick like that. Now grab some parchment paper, put it onto your pan here. And what you're gonna do, you're literally just gonna grab this stuff and just throw it onto the parchment. Now grab yourself a spatula. You want to flatten this out, okay? Just kind of along the edges here. All right, guys, change of plans. Don't use the parchment, okay? This is a task to try and move it around. It's just way too sticky. So we are going to move this around here and swap this onto the pan. Okay, yeah, don't use the parchment. This was a terrible idea. Uh, I kind of just, I saw a TikTok and I thought they used parchment, but I guess they didn't, so. Okay, give us two sacks here. Soon after. All right, so transferred everything from the parchment onto the baking pan. That was a challenge. Okay, don't use the parchment paper, just terrible idea. This pan is obviously way too big, but I'm just gonna evenly distribute it here and okay, make sure it's all smooth, like a baby's ass cheeks. We're just gonna grab some blueberries, dip them right in there. About like 100 grams, just kind of evenly distribute them. This is gonna be so good, man. So that's what we have. Now all I'm gonna do is throw it into the freezer for like three to four hours, and then I'm gonna take it out and I'll show you guys when I'm done. All right, so it's been in here for like three hours, so we're gonna pop it out now. Woo! She is looking good. Grab a knife, and then you're gonna basically just like shove it underneath here, cause it's like stuck to this pan. Beauty, and then it should just like pop right up. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna kinda like snap them off here into like pieces, just like that. Beauty. Wait this up. The big one's on the bottom actually. Bam, baby. Look at that. So, oh. <laughs> All right, so now you can just leave it like this and you can just bite on it, have a little snack, or you can put some peanut butter on top. Now, actually, I have like a bunch of fats left, so I'm actually going to probably have 50 grams of just regular almond. That is gonna cap off the full day of eating. I'm gonna throw up the calories on the screen for this meal. For the entire day, I finished at 2,383 calories, and that split up in between 232 grams of protein, 204 grams of carbs, which is kind of on the low side, but honestly, I don't really care where my carbs and fats go and then 64 grams of carbs so with all that being said i'm gonna absolutely devour this now i'll do a little taste test here okay might be a little uh might be a little hard oh yeah so good so good one bite <laughs> good eh <laughs> anyways all right guys that's gonna be the full day of eating and training thank you guys for watching this video if you did enjoy it please give it a like subscribe if you're new to the channel with all that being said i'll see you guys in the next one all right deuces Hey!